This is SIMD architecture. SIMD architecture means single instruction and multiple data. You see here, I have two vectors A, B. So I want to add these two vectors A plus B and I want to get the resultant vector. It is a C vector. Generally, what will you do in your programming? You will use a for loop and you will take A1 and B1. You will add it. Then a2 and b2 you will add it so for adding you will be using add instruction you know that each add instruction will take five clock cycles because we have five stages in the pipeline so five clock cycles will be used for adding these two numbers then these two numbers five clock cycles so totally 10 into 5 50 clock cycles will be required if you use add instruction but if you use SIMD architecture, it is a hardware. All these things will be happening with less time. Let us see. You take this one. So we, I am having only one adder. An ILU have more than one fun, functional elements. Here I am taking only one adder. And I am using two arrays like this. These arrays are connected like this. So what uh, this hardware will do? Actually, in the first clock cycle, it will pass this A1 and B1 to the adder. The adder will add and it will provide the first element. Actually, this should be C of 1, the first element. Then in the next clock cycle, automatically, these, the second element will come to the adder. Here from B also, the second element will come and both will be added and you will get C of 2. So like that, within 10 clock cycles, you will be able to add the two vectors and you will have the resultant vector. So, if you use an ordinary program, it will take 50 clock cycles. But here it is taking only 10 clock cycles. Uh, this requires a special hardware that is called as SIMD processor. That is single instruction, multiple data. Why do you call this as multiple data? Because a vector will have multiple data. But instruction is same, only add, right? So single instruction, multiple data. This is the basic structure used in GPU. Now, if you use only one ALU, it will take uh, 10 clock cycles to add two vectors. Now, instead of one ALU, if I use four ALUs like this, what will happen? I am taking A1 and B1. A, A1 and B1, I am assigning to actually it is not shown here a1 and b1 will be assigned here then a2 b2 will be assigned to this one a3 b3 will be assigned here i think it starts from a naught a3 b3 will be assigned to this one so you will have c naught to uh, c3 then after that if you come to 4 a4 b4 is assigned here then 5 a5 b5 a6 B6 will be assigned to this ALU. A7, B7 will be assigned to this ALU. In the first clock cycle, A0, B0 will be added by this one. A1, B1 here. A2, B2 here. A3, B3. In the second clock cycle, A4, B4 will be added by this one. A5, B5 will be added by this ALU. A6, B6. A7, B7. Then in the third clock cycle, A8, B8 will be added by this one. A9, B9 will be added by this one. That's all. The, now, the complete uh, vector addition is over. You will have C0, C1, C2, C3. Then after that, C4, C5, C6, C7. Then C8, C9 you will have here. Now, in this case, only three clock cycles have been used because all the ALUs will be taking two elements from the array and it will be adding in one clock cycle. So, by increasing the number of processing elements for the same vector addition, you will be able to reduce the time. So, this is also another uh, configuration. So, you can say that this is one vector pipeline. This is one vector pipeline. Here, you are having four vector pipelines to add the same vectors. When you have more number of uh, pipelines then the time will be reduced technically these pipelines are also called as lanes 
L A N E S lanes. So this is single lane vector addition. This is four lane vector addition. See in the uh, four lane vector addition. In the previous case, I showed only the adder as a functional element. Adder is part of A L U, but A L U can have more than one functional elements. For example, in a practical SIMD processor, you will have four lanes like this. Here, vector registers are used. Actually, the vector will be available in the memory before adding those two vectors. It will be brought to vector registers. This is one vector register. This is also a B register. Only from vector registers, the ALU can take the data, multiple data. So, vector registers will take the elements. For example, when you have four lanes, the zeroth element will be here. The first element will be coming to the second lane. The third element will be coming to the third one. Then fourth element, that is index value 3, will be coming to the fourth lane. So, data will be taken. If you need addition operation, it will go to the add pipeline. If you need a multiplication operation, it will go to multiply pipeline. So, depending on the functionality you needed, you will have different pipelines.